Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Daniel. Uh, you're watching Daniel's Aquatic Life. Today we're doing our first vlog and we're trying something new here. Uh, basically what I want to do with my chant, my YouTube channel is break it down into sections. So I have like a, a species bio section, um, all the tours that I do around Canada. Currently right now due to COVID there's no traveling outside Canada. So while this is going on, a lot of my tours I'm going to try to accomplish will be the ones in Canada until COVID passes and then we'll continue on outside. Uh, that will be one of the other sections. The newest section that I wanted to accomplish is vlogs. I, uh, this will be the first vlog. I did do another vlog prior to this in the very beginning about six weeks ago when I started my YouTube channel. I didn't quite understand what vlogging was and I, I still still don't quite understand so actually comment below if you guys have advice for me on on vlogging really I guess uh, what it is that I should be covering within the vlog and uh, yeah anything that will help me out for future vlogs I'm thinking to do a vlog once a week as I do do uh, daily uploads with other things that are in the channel and as of today I actually just started a new job um, at a bottle return bottle depot so that will be taking up my morning up to my afternoons and then my afternoon to about dinner time will be with my kids and my family and then after that will be daily uploads still so I'm, I'm still going to continue with the daily uploads so we got lots to cover today tons and tons to cover today uh, I did a lot of different changes within my tanks. If you guys haven't seen my tanks from six weeks ago till now, there has been like a massive, massive uh, upgrade. A lot of new stuff has gone on. And uh, a big thank you to a lot of these YouTubers that are doing the aquarium channels because a lot of my ideas it does come from a lot of other YouTubers. Um, some of the things that I'm watching on YouTube is just mind-blowing. And so starting to do uh, some of these projects is become, you know, actually pretty exciting. And it's made more, more content for, for videos, actually. So, yeah. Um, so one thing we're going to try out, uh, one thing I really want to talk to you guys about is I, I was way in Victoria, on Victoria Island for about five days, I believe. And I came back. I had um, someone come in and babysit my fish, which is super, super awesome. She actually used to babysit my son. Um, but yeah, so that was super awesome. I'm glad that I have somebody to, to rely on for that because that is something that I worry about, knowing that I do go on quite a bit of uh, trips with my family. So I came back, and she did a great job. So hands, hands down to her. Um, but in one of my 10 gallon tanks holds my feather tail betta and after observing observing last night um, closer to my tank I started to notice little white white things floating around in there so I took a flashlight and I started to find snails little snails bigger snails as well as what I believe are parasites um, I know that there are some little water bugs, I guess. Uh, Costopods, I believe. I Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know that that means that you have a, a healthy tank, but at the same time, my beta just, he doesn't want to share his tank with anybody, let alone what could possibly be pesticides or snails. Now, how those got in my tank in the first place, I actually have no idea because in this tank is and it's not the one behind me I'll show you here in a second and I haven't cleaned it out I am going to go ahead and bleach everything and, and of course dilute the bleach 50-50 probably I will probably have to do this a few times uh, I, I don't expect all the snails and all the the parasites to take off there are, are spots where I see so many and then there are spots on the window where I see quite a bit of the bigger snails. Now, again, I have no idea how it got in there. There's never been live plants put in there. Most of the time that's where you're, you're going to get the snails from is off the live plants, but there are no live plants in there. 
There are two rocks in there that I got out of a beach. Tested, yes. But were they properly sanitized? And by that I mean just like at least boiling them, maybe using vinegar, scrub them off with vinegar and then boil them off is usually what I would do with my rocks. If you haven't seen my latest video on how to test your rocks and how to cure rocks, definitely check that out. It was my latest video. But let's take a look at he uh, let's take a look at the uh, fish tank. I'm going to put up a flashlight as well as I got my net here so when I transferred my betta into one of the hospital tanks um, for, for the purpose of I want to clean this and I don't want my betta to be too, I don't know, bugged out I guess. Uh, that's ironic. Um, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so I'm going to try and use the, this here. Now this is going to be really hard to see. I, I totally get that. Um, where are we at? But on these little pebbles, I don't know if you guys can see that. On these little pebbles, there are tiny, tiny microscopic little white bugs that seem to be crawling around on it, just down in there. And then I can see like a little snail. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm sure this is really hard to see them. But there are snails all over that heater. Let's see if we can get a better look here. You can see some of the snails in the water. There's a lot of snails on that heater. They, the snails seem to be all on the, the sides. And actually, there's quite a bit of these snails floating in the water as well. I see one right here, here. So again, um, so yeah, how these, how these, uh, turn that off. <laughs> How these snails got in there, I really don't know. They must have come in off the rock. And it, it, I put those rocks in there about three weeks ago. So I never noticed them. I stare at my tanks very carefully. I do a lot of uh, like investigating on my fish and seeing how they react most days. And, and that also lets me know if they're not feeling good that day and maybe I can help them out. But for three weeks, I never seen these these little things, and now they're just little microscopic pieces. So I'm wondering if they did come in off that rock. They were just little eggs, and they had hatched in the water because the water is super clean. Um, that's my only guess. So we are going to definitely bleach this out. Actually, let's go do that now. Oh, one sec. So I think I got myself a better view at the, uh, the snails and the insects and all that stuff. We've got this all cleaned out. One second here. Sorry about my hand. So if we can take a better look, you can now look on the, see all those? And they're everywhere. All over the place. And they just showed up out of nowhere. So... What we're gonna do is we're gonna run some hot water through here. Um, I'm gonna leave every everything right into there. We're in the tub right now. We're gonna run this hot water. And because, oh, sorry. Uh, because that tank isn't going to, or the, uh, the water's not gonna reach this, we're just gonna run the, uh, uh, we're just going to run the, oh man, brain fart. What do we call this right here? The shower. So we're gonna just run the shower here, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I just got off work. Too. Like I said, it's my first day, so a little scatterbrained right now. Okay, so that was one of my dilemmas. I'm glad that you know we're getting to it. I will be using some bleach on that. Uh, I will be definitely before putting those rocks back in. I will be boiling boiling them off probably using a little bit of vinegar to kill any type of uh, um, parasite that might be on there. I know vinegar is not going to be like the greatest trick to use. I was actually thinking about would it be safe or not using muriatic acid. I don't know. So, but I'm not going to try that this time. Uh, just because I don't know and I would never do anything that I didn't know 100% uh, that would end up hurting my fish. I actually absolutely love these fish. So uh, let's see some of the other things that we can talk about. I've got some new art stuff going on here. Uh, if you haven't seen my tours, check those out. 
kind of a, a tour of the office so far. Um, we're in my kitchen, we're in an apartment, we're a few stories up, and uh, there's been some some scary things. There's been, yeah, there's been some scary stuff. It's, uh, it's an older building. Um, we're not supposed to have fish in here anyway. Uh, and I have over over 100 gallons worth of water just in my kitchen uh, slash my office. It was a kitchen. We kind of got rid of that um, thanks to my wife. She was cool enough to let me do that. She knows that this means a lot to me, and uh, I, I strive to be really good at this. Um, I really want to see a lot of people watching what my life, I guess, and, and what I'm doing, and uh, also learning, learning off the things that I can teach. Um, again, if you check out my channel, there's how-tos, and there's it's starting to build up. I have a couple more ideas uh, ready for the how-to section, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get some of that going. But with work, I'm trying to schedule everything in. It's uh, it's going to be a busy day, every day, I guess. Uh, something something new that we just did. Speaking of beta, we're going to check out my other beta tank. We just. It looked like poop, actually. It looked like I didn't give any crap about my beta, and I really do. So it's just the more tanks you get, the more time it takes, and with everything else, you know what I mean. And having a family, like there's just a lot of stuff that we gotta we gotta do in a day. So just trying to nick at one thing at a time is uh, has been working for me. Um, I'm starting to think about nicking at two things at a time, just to kind of get it on the go a bit. But yeah, so this is the new beta tank. I did the rock formation, and uh, I, I've noticed that it's become like a really popular thing. You can see that there's not very much light in there. It does seem like there is quite a bit, but it's just the lights in the kitchen. Um, what I did was I dimmed... Actually, I'll show you. I know my beta don't, doesn't like a lot of light. It likes to hide a little bit. Both of them do, actually. So what I did was I actually put some gray tape over top, and that just dimmed it out. Oh, cool. It made a bubble nest. That's a cool-looking bubble nest, too. Bettas are known to make bubble nests, either whether to breed or the males will do it to... Uh, the males will do it if they want to uh, signal that they're ready to breed. Um... Yeah, moving on, we got this big tank. This has been a huge change in the last uh, few days, actually. There's been a lot, lot more plants going on. Um, the fish are still trying to get used to the environment. Uh, this is a great big uh, piece of driftwood that I got from uh, Victoria, and all these plants. This is something, a pro another project, the new project that uh, me and my wife have been working on. It's actually quite fun to do. Um, all rocks have been tested, some of these, I love these uh, Anubis plants. I think I'm going to get some more. I did go with some of these corkscrews. Now, the corkscrews didn't seem to work, that's about all that's left of this corkscrew. And that's not very much. I did buy three, and yeah, they just, within days, weren't doing so well. As well as, these ones here tend to be a hit or miss. And this one here, I can't ever decide whether it's healthy or it's not healthy because it's like a reddish plant. But some days it's got like more green on it and then it's red. I, I'm not too sure. You know, I guys want to say hi to some of these guys. I got my golden garami down there. I got uh, the, the shark was there, the roseline shark. We got some of those uh, beautiful cherry barbs. I love those cherry barbs and if I get another big tank I'll be putting more cherry barbs in them. There's that roseline shark. What else we got? We got the uh, the two angel fish going on up here. That's become their new territory. It used to be before I did all this change up it used they used to be over here um, all the time actually but since this has darkened up quite a bit Actually, my catfish has started to come out, and he kind of hangs out under this log. We kind of lifted that up a little bit. So a lot of the fish like to hang out there. The, the red tail shark. Oh, yeah, the red tail shark. You guys, if you did, didn't notice that, there is a, behind here, there's a piece of broccoli. 
Actually, there's three pieces of broccoli, and now there is only the, the scraps of that one. In two days, that uh, red-tailed shark has eaten three pieces of broccoli. Three giant pieces of broccoli. And, of course, the uh, dwarf garami here, the blood red dwarf garami, he likes it a lot too. I see I have some floating plants up here that aren't supposed to be floating. Oh yeah, I have a snail. I forgot about that. He's right here. Let's see, right there. I totally forgot I had a snail. I just got that. Actually, I had gotten... I got that snail because I tried doing a... Uh, what do you call it? A shrimp? Shrimp tank? And it didn't pan out very well for me. Um, I thought because I have so much experience with fish that, you know, the shrimp tank wouldn't be a bad thing to do. I think they're really colorful. They're really pretty looking. Um, I think it brings out a lot in in your office. I highly recommend doing it. Um, I do... I didn't realize that the pH levels and the temperature and all those kind of things took a huge play in, in a shrimp tank. And to get back to it, that snail was actually just there to create poop, I guess. Um, but there wasn't enough in there for the, the shrimp to strive off of, and they ended up dying. Um, some got caught in the filter, so I wasn't using a sponge. So a lot of life lessons there. That that lesson there cost me almost 100 bucks um, for four shrimp and the setup. So it's, it's definitely something you want to look more into before doing so. Um, I hope this vlog's going well, guys. I, I know I catch myself off topic, and uh, this is my newest pet. Just like I said, I catch myself off topic. But uh, I'm, I hope you guys really enjoyed these, this vlog. I do plan to make this as my new section in my channel, and I will be doing this once a week. What else can we talk about? Um, I guess some of the fish that I have right now. I have a crown, a blue crown betta. I have uh, a feather tail, a red feather tail betta. I have a red tail shark. I have a rose line shark. I have a golden garami. I have a dwarf blood red garami. I have, I'm going to turn up, turn this up. Turn my filter on. It actually was off. I turn my filter off and I feed them so that they're not hesitating to get the food. It just kind of sits there for them. Um, so yeah, golden garami, blood red dwarf garami. I got two uh, marble angelfish. I have two corridoras. I have one horn snail. And I have two gold barbs. Here, let's go. Let's go check those out. So here we have the two gold barbs. Try to get that camera out of the way. They tend to hide there a little bit. I'm surprised they're even out because normally they're hiding in this castle. The reason that they're in here, they used to be in my big tank. Oh, feather tail. This is actually a hospital. I use these beta tanks as hospitals, and there's another one. They are for hospitals, and sometimes I use them for quarantine. But yeah, these guys are pretty cool. They're really gorby, and that's why they're in their own tank now. They used to be in the Big 55, but yeah, they tend to eat all the food, and then there's a lot of waste, and so we had to figure that out. So, really quickly, I'm just going to throw on some dinner for the family. We're going to have some some hamburgers. Sounds good? That sounds good to me. Sounds easy to me. So if I can do this, and I just kind of hit the bake. We'll put it at 400. Because you know the, the family's got to eat. I don't, I don't eat too much, actually. Um, I don't know why my... My body just doesn't want to tell me I'm hungry all ever, so I kind of just have to guess when I'm hungry. Uh, I feel like this is the best thing to do right now, just because I am doing this vlog, and this will be pretty, pretty simple, simple stuff to do while I'm doing this.
All right, so take these out. So comment below, guys. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, what did you guys do today? Um, did anybody get any new fish today? I'm always excited and always super, super stoked when people get new fish. Like the whole uh, like unraveling the, the fish vlog, um, videos. Those are always so, so cool. And, and I'm actually thinking of doing one. I, I don't know what it will be. Actually, to be honest, if I was to do one, I guess telling you isn't going to help. So maybe I shouldn't. But uh, it'll be really cool. Okay, it's a vampire crab. That's what I'm thinking about getting. Um, but when I go to do this video, maybe I'll do vampire crab and another mystery. Since I just told you guys. But yeah, comment below. Did you guys get a new fish today? Um, are your guys' fish feeling good today? Do they all look happy? Who got stuck uh, doing the tank changes today? I had to do all mine yesterday. Like I said, I was away in Victoria for a little bit. So... Yeah, I had to do the, had to do the tank change, and yeah, so that's pre cooking. I never do the whole pre cook until it beeps. You know, like pre cook or not pre cook, I'm just gonna throw it in. The food is all the same. Let's go take a look. Let's check up on this tank. All right, it's steamy in here. It is super steamy in here. I think that I have gotten rid of a lot of that uh, waste and some of those scales. We are on max heat here. Uh, so in a second, or in a few more minutes, I'll let that go for a few more minutes. And then uh, we'll empty half of it and we'll fill it up with some bleach. I think that'll work. And Yeah, so after, after I do that, I think uh, we'll let the bleach dilute with the water for... I don't know, probably like two hours, because I, I wanted I don't want to have to do this too many times. I'm hoping that you know I won't have to do it more than one more time. So what else? Uh, hmm. Recently, so uh, yeah, I was in Victoria, uh, in BC, Canada, and we went on two different tours, and uh, one was a koi pond, absolutely massive koi pond. It was super super cool. Uh, I did take a video of that, so definitely check that out. As well as the Salish Sea. Um, that was in Victoria. That was in Sydney. Um, absolute amazing place. You actually start by boarding onto a submarine. And the submarine sinking into the water. Or at least that effect, I guess. Um, absolutely brilliant. And uh, that's another must-see video. I'm planning on doing one in Vancouver at the aquarium there, their big aquarium. That will probably be in a couple weeks, I'm hoping. So definitely uh, ring that bell. Make sure you guys have subscribed and uh, see all that new content. Uh, maybe we can, what do, what do we want to do? I don't, I don't know. What, what are some things that I'm worried about? Actually, there's, there's a for instance. So I was just talking about my corkscrew ripping apart. And if you look right up here, there's corkscrew. That was within seconds. Like, the corkscrew does not work at all around here. So, kind of curious about that. I do definitely have to fix these plants. They kind of came loose. I had them sitting in uh, my lava rock, actually. You want to see some, some cool stones? Uh, something that's really cool about this is all of these stones actually... Uh, come from a place here in Canloops called the Golden Buddha. Kind of an expensive way to uh, fill your tank, but uh, definitely, definitely cool. I thought that was super interesting. I don't think I've seen many other tanks that have done this. So we got a couple, couple other ones here. Yeah, not too many that have, I've seen actually, if, if any, I don't think I've seen any that have done any tanks with uh, really cool gems in them. Uh, what else can we talk about? Driftwood, driftwood, woo! I got lots of driftwood, starting new projects. That's the new uh, the new thing, is new driftwood projects. We've got, uh, we got stones that we're now testing, trying to find some really nice stones 
for the uh, for new aquariums. I got a new pond that's coming into my apartment. It's gonna be so cool. Um, trying to think of what the fishes that are going in there. It's uh, they shoot they shoot a nice distance actually when they try to eat the feed, and that's actually how they eat. They they shoot. Um, oh man, comment below if you know the name of that. That's actually gonna blow my mind because yeah, I just I really really want them. Uh, check out some of this food, I guess. We're coming close to the end of my, my video here. Um, so, this this stone I have was another stone I found. It's got, like, it's all silver on top. It's really cool. I'm really big into the bug bites right now. This is a new type of pellet I'm going after. It seems like those pellets are lasting longer. They last about three days a piece. Um, and with the catfish, like, it's... Yeah, those, are, those north fin pellets, that's the way to go, guys. Um, I guess we're going to close off. This will be my, my first vlog. 